Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Leos. Hello, my Leos. How are you? Well, you know, weekend readings. Okay, card wants to come out. Weekend readings, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. And then I try to pull just one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Yes, and April showers are bringing May flowers, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. Things are going to start opening up. Life is, you know, I feel like life is, I, I don't know that we're going to say getting back to normal. We have a new normal. But things are going to start opening up with the flowers. Okay, now, and I, and I talked about that. I have talked about that. Anyway, I've also talked about that, that full moon, May 7th. Something about that is really intriguing to me. Um, it is in Scorpio. Now, you know, I... Three days before, three days after, release, relinquish, request. It's always good energy for that. But Scorpio energy, and I, this again in the longer readings, um, does not like secrets. Scorpio can keep secrets, its own secrets, but does not like secrets and will do, will dig up the dirt. Okay, so this is like, so be aware, things will be exposed, and I'm kind of feeling like it's that three days before all the way to that next full moon, which I think is sad, well, it would be Sagittarius. So the full moon, you know, it's just, just be aware. Things, things could be coming up that I don't know. I think that it's going to be bigger than just a personal, but it could be personal too. Anyway, I am an intuitive channeler. And what that means is I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the words are, the message that needs to come through, it does. The three cards face down. The first one's reversed. Strong energy. Let's see what we have for my Leos. So my Leos, I have to ask you, the first 10 days of Taurus, I hope they've been going well because I kind of felt, and remember, I'm a Leo too, I kind of felt they were going to be kind of some stretchy type of energy there. Okay. Now, first card, the Empress. The Empress. Okay, I told you it's going to be that first, the first 10 days of Taurus in the longer readings that it's going to be kind of like, uh, and then things turn itself around and things start again. It's kind of like that May flowers, you know, the May flowers, things blossoming. Now, the Empress is Archangel Gabriel, divine messenger. Empress is like, hey, Leos, I'm giving it to you. You have waited. You have done your work. You know, again, you know, definition of luck, preparation to meet opportunity. You have done your work. Be prepared. Let the abundance come. I kind of feel like, you know, like, like, flower petals falling down you know not that they're getting in your hair and you're like uh no it's like flower petals are coming you know are falling around you and it's like wow it's great it feels good the energy is really positive be prepared get out there and remember to full, new moon to full moon is when you do request so this is that time keep requesting especially as we get closer to that full moon itself be prepared Put out your put out your bucket. Put out your purse. Open it up. Say, come on, come on, money. Let's come on. I'm I'm kind of feeling like, you know, like, come on, money. You know, come on, come on, money. Now, it doesn't have to be money per se. It's whatever you feel abundance is. Okay? But again, come on, abundance. I like that. I think I'm gonna do that now. No. <laughs> Empress, the Empress, Archangel Gabriel. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. If there's something you've been waiting on, stop waiting. Start putting it into putting it in place now. Okay? You know, it might be, you know, it might be like what I, you know, here, you know, just doing it. Just doing it. And let things happen. Okay. Next card up, the king of air. Air energy is Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, thought processes, it could be about hearing news also. So there is, you know, there's been that, you know, you just got through a lot of that, that heavier part of the Taurus energy, and things are going to lighten up now, and, the, and you're going to be a little bit verbose. You're going to be a little bit like, hey, what's right is right. What's wrong is not right, <laughs> okay? You're not going to focus on that negative, but you are going to focus on what is the positive and what is the right way, okay? Don't be afraid to do that. 
um, especially if you know it to be true, okay? If you know it to be true. Now, I'm not saying, now my, my Leos, we can be a little bit, um, you know, we can, you know, speak very competently and kind of diminish that other person. Um, so be aware of that type of power energy going back and forth. You know, listen, make sure you do listen, but don't be afraid to speak it out. And that's the thing. Leos, we do tend to be a little bit afraid. You know, people don't know that about us, but we do tend to be a little bit insecure that, you know, because many there's been many a time where I've spoken out and only to be like, you know, insert foot in mouth. But in this case, in this weekend, this is the time that you know what you're talking about. Okay? So... King of air is brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. Your last card up, ego. Ego. So this is kind of where we were talking a little bit. This is kind of, you know, this is Archangel Energy. This is Joe Fiel. Um, so, and this is kind of that little bit of that insecurity, that little bit of, you know, I don't want to put myself out there in case I'm wrong, I don't want to look foolish, I don't want to, you know, I'm a little bit, that, that little piece of you that I was saying when I was talking about this, that we can be a little bit afraid. So that, you know, so the thing about that is, you know, is, is what are you talking, do you know your subject? Are you, are you speaking truth? Okay, this though, this, you know, Gabriel with the Empress though, is going to give you it's going, it's going to give you actually a lot of courage because you're going to feel there's going to be some confidence with that. You know, like I said, there's, you know, come on abundance, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And, um, you know, so as you speak out, it's going to be like you have this other thing. You don't have to worry about it so much. So let's put it this way. If you are thinking of leaving a job, never leave, you know, never leave where, you know, where you, you know, never slam doors, Okay. But if you're thinking of leaving a job, it's like, okay, I'm, leaving, I'm really nervous about it, but it, you will be able to do it because you've got the other job ready for you, okay? So it's like you've got this to fall back on. Or um, it could be they need to know something. You know, it could be your work needs to know. Again, don't shut doors, okay? Don't do anything where you can't go back. Um, I'm not saying you would go back because Leos do not go back. We go forward. Um, but the thing is, you don't want to burn bridges, okay? But the thing is, you'll know, well, if something happens, at least I have this, okay? So that's that type of energy for you. But on the most part, on the most part, this, you know, Ar you know, Empress with Archangel Gabriel coming with this news or with whatever this abundance is, it does help you with whatever that little kernel of fear is. So a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So that's, I'm feeling more that's kind of like, yeah, but I'm a little bit afraid to do it, um, you know. And it could be, though, again, you know, if there's something that you've been passionate about, you know, it, it, it's like, uh -huh. now I'm not, I am not saying that, you know, if you're thinking, well, I want to, um, you know, I want to create this and this, and I need to, you know, I'm not saying that you, quit your security to just jump into something. I am saying, though, if it's something you've been wanting to do, start it, and then as you keep moving forward, you're, you know, that thing, this becomes, whatever this was, becomes more secure, okay? And then you can lighten up with this other piece. Okay, hope that made sense to you. Now let's go on. One last card from my Leo's. So the, the message with this is that there's, there's really some really great stuff coming there's really great energy for you um just make sure you know just work work on that fear base part okay okay be be confident in yourself too last card it is reversed strong energy face down here we go the page of raphael so something new this is something new raphael is water energy cancer pisces scorpio so maybe this is closer to that scorpio moon again secrets we don't scorpio does not like secrets okay gentle loving dreamy uh, open-hearted a new emotional situation messages regarding relationships or social invitations great intuitive insights you're going to know what needs to be done you're going to know what needs to be done sometimes that's what worries you a little bit because this is kind of that ooh, what if I speak out a term, you know, you know, 
Is it the truth? Is it the truth? Does it need to be said? You have Archangel um, Gabriel bringing you abundance, bringing you the gifting. King of Air telling you, speak it out, okay? And new, some, there's a new emotional, there's something, like I said, there's something that you're going to be jumping into. I shouldn't say jumping into, but moving into that's going to be just so much better for you, okay? So, I like this. It's a little, you know, it's, it's good energy for my Leos. Anyway, my Leos, you know what to do with the buttons, but the thumbs up, no thumbs down, okay? As always, my Leos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.